What's up, everybody? It's your boy Undu. It's Skinny Jeans R TV, episode eight of the Break Bread Podcast. If you're new to the podcast, what we simply do is break down the bread on what's happening in culture and in hip hop. So today, uh, it's kind of a weird one, interesting one actually. Um, it's around two groups, two hip hop groups in South Africa, uh, who I think have got the deepest ros- uh, rosters. I think it's two uh, hip hop groups that have been run by uh, low key, probably the greatest uh, managers, ARs, whatever you call them, in the culture. I'm going to tell you about them in a bit. And I also think these guys have got such a diverse roster that no one is looking out for the, like like for, like for these two camps. Yeah, let's call them camps. It's the two illest camps in SA hip hop right now. Who am I talking about up here? I'm talking about uh, Forever Young. Um, management, Gemini Major, uh, Babyface Dean, um, and WNDRSZN. Now, Jude, you're gonna you're gonna help you actually have, have to help me out with the name, but it's a guy from Botswana. So yeah, man, that's uh, Forever Young. Uh, it's a label, uh, management label. It's run by my, um, by my homie Ujud, uh, who I've got massive respect for him, and I think Uti, no one's been shouting out like the likes of Jude in, in the rap game. Uh, Jude is uh, in, in all types of, so, of social circles, he knows the rappers, he knows the crew, but what he's done with his camp is, is astounding. I think uh, Low Key, um, he's probably got the deepest camp in hip hop right now, that's one. And the other one, now these ones are very exciting because I've been covering a lot of, um, of them on, um, on Skin Jeans or TV. Punchline. Yeah. Punchline, it's home to Manu Worldstar, The Exclusive, Luna Florentino, and Tony XL. And the guy here, who's supposed to be getting all the love, is uh, the home mission guy. So let me start off with Punchline, actually. You know, it's rare where you get like a camp that's got diverse artists, each with their own lane, and artists that are able to own what they are about and never clash. What I love about Punchline is that it's a young camp, they focus, they're working so hard, they're not afraid to actually drop long projects, they're not afraid to play the social digital game, confident on steroids. You know, he's got like this, this package Umanu that you can't actually like box in, he's versatile. Most people don't know that Manu is actually a rapper. But Manu has been killing the game with with the, with the sound that he's 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 all about. Um, I'm like Nalingi, um, you know. And I think Manu's got so much to offer in the game. But again, Manu's able to actually work as an artist outside of uh, Punchline. But at the same time, when you bring him to Punchline, he adds in something more interesting and more diverse as well. It's supporting each other, and it's so dope. A guy that I want to hear more of actually is Tony. I think Tony is uh, the sleeper in the camp. I love how strategically they haven't really given him out as much. They haven't even given him like, okay, Tony, here you go. Here's your project. But it's coming. And when it does come, I think the home has really played um, a long game. He's playing the long game and like being quiet, um, seeing the scene, supporting the cats. But everybody that I've spoken I've spoken to wants to see Tony win. Um, which brings me again to... Um, the exclusive oh, punchlines, lanky, isma, aura, the full package, bars, punchlines. You know, someone like D is uh, like if I could to put him in, in hip hop right now, I think he can actually go toe to toe with the rest of them. I think D is, is well packaged. I love how D is, uh, you can't really box him in. He can give you a full project, he can give you a single. He can actually go toe to toe with the best of them, like Quester joints. And again, he's got a sound that you can't really uh, like put your finger on. And again, the punchline homies have just got this confidence and aura about them. They're really doing it, man. Last but not least is my homie Luna Florentino. Yo, man, um, I think this guy's dope. Um, I love um, his projects. Um, uh, Fresh Prince of Rustenburg. It's so dope. It's so melodic. It's it's just a full project. Singles are still rolling out. I love how he was actually releasing uh, singles every week uh, because these days people aren't listening to the music. 
but he was able to actually release the music in um, in a very strategic kind of way. What I love about Luna as well is that he just sees himself as a fresh prince, man. And he's doing his thing, he's doing his thing well, he's doing his thing dope, and that's punchline. But again, someone that needs to get the shine and the love is Shanghai. You know, every time I hit Shanghai for an interview or request, or so, just always asking about stuff, the homie's always going, yo, skinny, what do you need? Let me know. Uh, so someone like Shanghai, I think the culture needs to respect him because doing it on his own, give him the respect, he's handling four different type of artists and giving them all the same love and same kind of attention. Whenever you see Punchline, they're always together, they're always ripping each other and that's so dope. And I think someone that often um, goes under the radar and doesn't get the shine is someone like Shanghai. So Shanghai, shout out to you and the Punchline boys. I think um, in terms of camps in SA Hip Hop, you guys, um, you guys are it. Let me go to my uh, second camp that I'm going to review today. But what I love about Jude is that Jude is so focused on his artist, man. Forever Young is the camp. Um, Jude is really pushing and giving it his, his all. I think Forever Young has got uh, one of the most exciting camps in SA Hip Hop. You've got seasoned artists. You've got an art, uh, artist in, 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 in bots that uh, Jude is like pushing into South Africa. Um, you've got Gemini Major. Uh, you've also got uh, Babyface Dean. It's diverse artists, but what's dope about it is that these guys are always, always, always working, always on the grind, always hustling. And what's also dope as well is that the music never stops with these guys. You know, so Forever Young does get it. They get it so well. They know what's going on with the game. And uh, if I had to break down the artists that I know, like Gemini Major, uh, most people, most people are boxing like a producer, but he's a rapper. But he gets his 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 vibe in, in, in like producing but what's nice about gemini majors is his versatility the afro sound you can't rub that away from him the producing levels is sick and i think he's a guy in the crew like in the crew that is actually holding his holding his own and it's so dope someone like babyface dean now you'd be surprised babyface dean has contributed to a lot of hip-hop albums as either a writer uh, he's done amazing things um, I'd have to say, like, uh, Touch My Blood, he's been involved in that. Um, yo, I'm recording! Uh, and then someone else that's also dope is um, WNDRSZZN. I don't, I don't know how to say his name. But again, guy from Bart, he's, he Jude has been showing us a lot of this guy. And man, I think uh, what's love, like, what I love about, what I love about Jude is um, his humility, always willing to listen to cats and i think if you put these two camps in 2019 you're gonna get something that's amazing you're getting two camps it's diverse they've got the they've got the artists but more importantly as well they're cultivating their fan base and which is so dope so that's a review of the two camps forever young and punchline and even the names are dope forever young punchline you can you can just brand it and do so much with it so that's the review let me know what you think uh it's do aka skinny jeans or tv on a review of the two camps in SA Hip Hop, in my opinion, which are killing it. That's uh, Forever Young. Uh, and I think the guy that's asleep and Forever Young that needs to get the shine is Jude. So Jude, I owe you this. And I told you I'm doing it. We're gonna do a writer, but I think video's gonna travel. People are gonna hear it and listen to it, which is so dope. And someone else is with Shanghai. Shanghai, for all the time where you get to listen to a homie, I think you guys now need the flowers. And from Skinny Jeans on TV, the Break Bread Podcast, these are your flowers, man. Let me know what you think in the section. What do you think about the artists? What do you think about these two last camps, I think, that remain in SA Hip Hop? You guys let me know. It's your boy, Skinny Jeans on TV, and we out.